Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am in a great mood today for a couple reasons. Number one, I have coffee here. And two, uh, my hair is short once again, and it is no longer a long, hot mess. So I am in a great, wonderful mood this morning. Um, I hope you guys are too. Let's go ahead and get started with what we need to do today. Let's pull up our objectives and see what we're doing. So what are we doing today? So today, we are reading the text, Astro, the Stellar Sea Lion. So that I can use information gained from the illustrations in the text to learn information about sea lions. And I'll know I have it when I can correctly answer two questions about the key details in the text and correctly answer two quiz questions about the text illustrations. Does that look familiar? Well, it should because the objective is still very much the same. We're just going to continue reading more into this text to learn more about seals. But let's still, let's break it down a little bit. So yesterday, we kind of talked a little bit about this text because we weren't really sure what type of text it was. There were parts of it that looked like it could be fiction because it's telling a story. But then there are other parts that are trying to give us real information about something real that has happened, meaning it's fiction. So it's both fiction and nonfiction. I don't understand how that can be. Hmm. We'll talk more about it today. But we're going to be reading this text today so that we can use information gained from the illustrations, which means we got to look at those drawn pictures to see if we can learn a little bit more about what sea lions are supposed to do, or we're supposed to learn a little bit more about sea lions in general. And then I'll know I have it when you guys can correctly answer two more questions about the key details in the text and then correctly answer two quiz questions about the illustrations. If you need those directions repeated, go ahead and start this video over and then join us back here. So why don't we go ahead, pull up the text, we'll pick up where we left off yesterday, and likewise, we'll still continue to think about what type of text this could be. Because if you remember back from yesterday, we kind of thought about what type of text is this? There are parts of it that are fiction, meaning it's meant to tell us a story with characters and a setting and a problem. But then there are other parts that make it more nonfiction, meaning it's telling us about a real thing that has happened. So in one way, it could be nonfiction and it also could be a story. We're gonna explore that a little bit more today. So why don't we go ahead, pick up where we left off yesterday. This is the part you guys read, but I wanted to talk about something a little interesting. The objective yesterday and today says we're learning more about sea lions, right? So that has me thinking, what do I already know about sea lions at all? Well, I know that they're supposed to live in the water. They're basically sea puppies and they eat fish. You know, they, they, I, I'm thinking, cause I've seen like videos and I've read other books about sea lions. They normally live in groups, right? But now let's apply that to this text. Something's wrong here. And I know something's wrong because I am using what I know already about sea lions with this. Look at Astro real quick. Astro one is by himself, excuse me, herself, she's a girl. Astro's by herself. She's spending a lot of time with people, which I know sea lions don't normally do in the wild. And another thing that's interesting, what you guys read yesterday is you guys should have read that Astro is having a hard time going back into the ocean because she's feeling scared. She doesn't know what to do, right? Which has me thinking. How do sea lions get into the water when they're first born? Like if sea lions are supposed to go into the water at all, someone's got to show them how to do that, right? Otherwise, they're probably going to be scared. Think of it for a second. Think about you as a baby. Your parents taught you how to walk. And think about if your parents never did that. If your parents never taught you how to walk, would you know how to walk right now? Probably not. Now think about Astro for a second. Think back to the beginning. Astro was separated from its mom. It's mom, like her mom got lost. And I'm looking at Astro right now. Astro is so afraid of going in that water. She doesn't know how to swim or she doesn't know what to do. And I think the reason behind that is, is because her mom wasn't there to teach her. Her mom hasn't taught her how to be a sea lion. So that has me thinking that normally sea lions are taught by their parents 
to do the things that sea lions do. But Astro is different. Astro doesn't have a mom. All she's relying on are these people, which means she is not acting like a normal sea lion. Now, knowing that, we're gonna see how that plays into the rest of the text. We're gonna keep reading the, uh, like a little bit more of this text to kind of learn a little bit more about how Astro overcomes this challenge or if she does it all. Sound good? So remember, keep in mind, we are looking at the illustrations to kind of tell us a little bit more about Astro and sea lions. Let's see what happens next. From far down the beach, Astro's friends watched him. For the next two days, Astro barely went into the water. Instead, he joined the elephant seals on the beach. He was confused. He had not seen the ocean since he was a few days old. So I guess Astro, I was right, Astro is a boy. I was right, I don't know why she, I thought she was a girl. He had not seen the ocean since he was a few days old. The volunteers were worried he would starve. When Astro didn't leave the beach, his friends decided to take him far out into the ocean far away from beaches and people. So they took Astro back to the center. So already this confirms exactly what I thought. Astro is different from other sea animals like sea, like sea lions, these elephant seals, right? And look at that illustration here. If you guys look at the illustration closely, we see Astro and immediately he looks completely different from all the other seals there. They're all relaxing, they're chilling, but Astro looks a little stressed. And if you look at the text here, the text even says he was confused. He doesn't know what to do. Astro has never been taught how to be a sea lion. And so he doesn't know how to act like one. He's scared, he's confused. But his friends, those people were watching him. They were watching to see what happened, right? But here's the weird thing, we don't see them in the picture, so we can't use that. His, but his friends were watching him and they were noticing that Astro was being kind of scared. He was acting kind of scared. But the weird thing is too, the volunteers were worried he would starve. Why is he gonna starve? Well, because he doesn't know how to act like a sea lion. He doesn't know how to hunt for food. And so they were worried that Astro might not be able to get the food he needs. You see, I'm thinking this is more nonfiction than fiction because when I think of fiction, I think it's made up, but this is real. This is a true story and these are true things that happen with sea lions. So I'm leaning more towards nonfiction than I am fiction. Hmm. I really want Astro to kind of get what he needs. I really want Astro to go back into the wild so he can be a sea lion like all the other ones. So I'm feeling a little bit worried for him. Hmm. I'm wondering what they're gonna try to do next. The next day, Astro was put on a boat with eight northern fur seals to be released in the ocean. I'm gonna pause there for a second. I don't see Astro in this picture. I don't see Astro anywhere. So this must be different seals, different sea lions. The nine marine mammals and their friends from the center traveled to the Farallon Islands, 27 miles west of the Golden Gate Bridge. As the cages were open for the eight seals, I can't see, I'm in the way. They each quickly dove into the ocean. Everyone on the boat cheered. Hmm. So already these fur seals are acting way different than Astro. They're acting completely different. I'm predicting that Astro is gonna have a hard time going into the ocean. I'm wondering what's gonna happen here. Because these fur seals are jumping right in. They're acting like seals. They know exactly what to do. But I'm predicting that Astro might have a different like experience. So that is where I am going to stop. You guys are gonna read the next two pages to page 12. Now remember, look at the bottom of the page. The bottom of the page is where you'll see the page numbers, okay? So you guys are gonna to read to page 12. When you guys get to page 12, you guys are gonna stop. When you guys are done there, you guys are going to go back into the text, look for text details, text illustrations to help you answer the two assignment questions, and then use those same details to help you answer the two quiz questions. If you guys need any 
help or you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm still your teacher until the end of the year. So if you guys need anything, I am here. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow.